Signs of Hope in Salem, a unique partnership to cut down on panhandling in the city, is getting some attention. 10 News reporter Arisha Jones takes a look at new markers directing people to the path of a better life. You may have seen these signs at two different intersections in Salem. It's asking people not to solicit in the medians. If you need help, the city wants you to call a number, linking you to Arch Services in Roanoke. We provide food, we provide hygiene products, um, we get them to any services that they need out in the community, whether it be substance abuse um, treatment, mental health, medical. Although the sign doesn't say panhandling, Salem has a ordinance prohibiting solicitations on highways, which is listed in the city code. People who were stopping to help would get injured or the people themselves asking for money. Uh, and they kind of wanted to stop that distraction. Arch has two facilities helping people after addiction and homelessness. Since the signs went up, they get several calls and emails a day from people asking about their services. And it's not always from people with addictions. A lot of the times it's people who are just stuck here, who are trying to get back home because they have family somewhere else and they just don't know how to get to Idaho or Montana. Um, we do have organizations in the community that can help with bus passes to get them to those family members. Arch believes the signs go along with their mission of giving people second chances and new beginnings. In Roanoke, Arisha Jones, 10 News, working for you.